Welcome guys to my second episode of the achievements in Battlegrounds and how to complete them. Now in the first episode we looked at the challenges here on top, which are probably the harder ones uh, that you actually have to like try and get. I got most of them. Sometimes some you just get by playing a lot. Uh, now we're gonna look at the heroes. Now one thing is a lot of these achievements are just a get first place with a hero. So I would have to make a full guide on every hero, right? But for some specific heroes, there is a trick to get more first places instead of like top trees, for example, instead of third or second places, like Jerexes always gets like top three, but barely first place. So for those kind of heroes, I'll share a tip uh, to make it easier for you to get first places. And other than that, I would recommend my video one tip for every hero, which I think is in that corner right now. So that video um, talks about well, a tip for every hero. So if you're having trouble with something, maybe those tips can help you get a win for that. So I'll skip over all the simple first places, get first with great Ekka Zendrak, but I'll still discuss the other ones that you might have to like try and achieve. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch more guides and stuff like that from me. Um, and like the video to help me with the algorithm. Right. Come back King, finish in first place after having your icebox triggered as great Ekka Zendrak. So basically, let's say you're weaker, you're about to spike, you're about to get strong, and it's a top 2 situation and you really want this achievement and you have an ice block up, don't get strong yet, even though you could potentially kill your opponent next turn, just hold back, let your opponent pop your ice block and then the turn after spike, which is I guess pretty obvious, it's kind of a troll because if it doesn't work out then maybe you lose the game and get second place, but if you really want it, uh, that's the best way I think you could go for it. And here's a uh, first with 20 different champions. You just gotta play a lot. Sadly I haven't played a lot this patch as you can see since the, the new update I only got 16 first which is not a lot. I'm still getting 300 plus uh, points a win so I should really play more so you should just get this one eventually. End your turn with Amalgam in play while not playing Curator so this can be done by Rafam but mainly if you really want to go for this Murazond. If you just played a Curator then pick every Murazond in the shop to try and steal it if you really want to and maybe pick up a brand as well. Other than that, yeah, just gotta get lucky. The issue is that a curator is not that good in this meta, so not many people play him, so it will be hard to find a curator in your lobby that you can actually steal from. And this one is just like the hardest one I think out of them all. Finish in first place um, after AFK in your third turn as AFK. Because AFK is in such a bad spot, such a bad hero. Right now you have to AFK an extra turn, which is almost impossible to win a lobby. But if you do it, congrats. It's also harder because Zara's got removed and Zara's made it a lot easier. Because you could just hold back for a turn and just wait for your shifter Zara's to turn into something and then play. Uh, this, this really sucks. It's a really hard one, but go for it if you want. It's quite a challenge. Then upgrade your tavern t twice in one turn as Sky Captain Craig. It should be easy, there's like two main lines. Skipping tier 3 is possible, which I've done, because you, your money works out, you go from tier 2 to tier 3. And then I think you can hear power, level again. But also skipping tier 4 is probably like more common, that's what I do most of the time, skip tier 4. Now for Dancing Daryl, um, a general tip to get more first places is to not get stuck on tier 3 on 4. You can win games on tier 3 and 4, I've done it as well, but it's easier if you use your hero power for tempo and if you recognize you're strong just level up. Bear games still, like pick up pairs, try to triple into 6s and 5s just like you would play with any other hero because your scaling could be much bigger or much more than you get from your hero power. And then the easiest achievement of them all, which I don't even have yet, is get first places with Elise. Uh, I should, should be like, just play Elise and yeah, you'll win, just level. Now as your Rexes, as I mentioned, um, what I usually do when I play demons in general, so this applies to Jerexes, uh, I have a full demon guide as well where I cover this, but the late game for demons is you gotta find poison and you gotta find shields. So I always look for Baron or Macaw and Golden Selfless, because you have your these big boys but they lose to any other poison, they lose to a cleave they lose to maybe elementals because they get outset it. So if you find like multiple shields and with demons you only have like a couple big boys. So if you fill in the gaps in your board you usually put spores or maximals or whatever. So that's a nice late game in order to get more first as Jerexes or when playing demons in general. So first place as Reno should also be pretty obvious. Just here power a good greedy unit that scales instead of a tempo unit. Like you could here power any four star early like a golden rover or a golden whatever on tier 4. That's gonna be a lot of tempo, you're gonna win fights, but late game you might get outscaled by other people if you don't capitalize of your tempo. So I always like hero power anything that scales. A major domo is even nice to hero power on tier 4, or an iris sensei on tier 3 if you'd like, or a bran or a light thing. Just hero power scaling to get a higher chance of getting a first instead of just a simple top 3. Finish in first place as Queen Wagtoggle. Didn't Blizzard remove this hero? Why is this, why is this still here? <laughs> 
Blizzard, please, finish your first Sir Finley, just get a Omu or an Elise from your hero power, easy GG. If you want to get a first place as curator, just make sure that Max and Murloc are in the lobby, because otherwise you can't poison the vine shield, you're a little amalgam, so just be aware of that. As Ysera, just get to tier 6, like if you ever make it to tier 6 as Ysera, you're gonna blow up, like if you just roll a Caligals every turn, some Razorgors and some Amalgadons, no one's gonna stop you, so try to get strong and make it to tier 6 somehow. And you should have a good time or just go to tier 4 or 5 and, and get all the pairs the good pairs from your hero powers don't pick the shitty dragons but pair game a lot of triple into a lot of sixes that could work as well as a runner don't do a cheesy strat if you go with like party elementals and uh, molten rocks on tier 2 stuff like that where you stay on lower tavern tiers just roll for a lot of triples that's good for top fours but not for first places so try to level up i don't know what strategy you, you would use then with a runner but just don't do some cheese because maybe a lower ranks in my work i don't know what your your experience is with arana or with other arana players in your lobbies but generally you don't want to just like try and, and stay down for zephyrs as well you have three hero powers you can use some for tempo so you get early triples but try to always save at least one or two hero powers for later in the game uh if you can afford to of course if you can't then use it but it's really great if you still have one available so if you roll a faceless and you buy it you can literally triple whatever you want if you roll a Caligals or Lil Rag or Bren or whatever with faceless you can buy it and then hear power and you can triple literally anything you want not just that but also if you have like a light fang and you roll a second one you can just hear power for a golden light fang same with Bren or so try to use one of your hero powers in a greedy way to like blow up in the late game and secure that first place as Zephyrus the Great. Finish the first place as Galakrond is also not possible anymore, they should also get rid of that quest. As Captain Adora I would say don't go for a tier 3 dig but try to power level to tier 4 or 5. I've, I've heard people triple into 6s with their first hero power, they probably do a different curve than me but yeah try to like be as greedy as possible if you really want the first because if you play safe I don't think you'll ever make it. Place 30 hats on one minion as dancing Daryl, what I did is I stayed on tier 1 and I just bought every token and everything I saw and I saved up until well 30 hats so that means 15 units you need to sell 15 things but tokens count for 2 so just Keep in, in, in mind how many cards you have on the board and in hand and how many heads total you're gonna put on a unit. So every unit is two heads, tokens are four heads total. If you get full value, same with Selemental. Um, I dance on a Righteous Protector because those are the Divine Shield minions on tier 1 but they're now gone from the game so um, I think you want to do this on tier 3, just get strong, if you can be greedy pick up as much as possible, sell off your entire board and make like one huge unit. Again, something Blizzard didn't remove, upgraded tier 1 to tier 6 as Galakron, this was super easy to get. Play 16 different Darkwing prizes, just experiment a bit with the different prizes you get, uh, don't go for the strongest option every single time if you don't have this quest yet but yeah, take weaker ones but ones that you want to try out and, and then figure out for yourself why they are bad or trash. Finish the first as Flurgle. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this one, but um, yeah, you gotta just triple into an early brand. Or you gotta try and have a good lobby. If there's no max in your lobby, it's generally easier because Murlocs are super bad against shields. Unless you pick Ghoul, like with Ghoul, I guess you could counter shields a bit. Yeah, get poison, get huge stats, find a brand, play around shields if you have to, stuff like that. With patches as well, I got a first, and I used to say patches is bad and pirates are bad, but this meta they are surprisingly good. Like I've actually been having good pirate games. So what I would say to get more first instead of top fours is you have APM pirates, go for that, and it gives you infinite money, right? Don't use the infinite money to just buy pirates and buff one or two salty looters, that's stupid, you just have like a couple big units, it's like big demons then. But use that infinite money to pick up selfish heroes, Baron, Bran maybe, you can pick up anything you want right, so even pick up Amalgadons and, and try to get like a poison divine shield Amalgadon, take divine shields like modules, try to build your board as strong as possible because you literally got infinite money. Another way is a scam comp with um, Khadgar, Baron and Skellywags and Eliza, you know, the big combo where it sums a bunch of Skellies and then just like blows up the size of your board um, but I think it's less consistent because it gets countered by Zap, uh, can get countered by Cleave and big stats can sometimes also still beat in the composition so I'd rather go for APM powers than the scam but the scam is fun. <laughs> Yeah, and I think those are like pretty much it. The other ones are also all just first places with certain heroes, which I don't want to go over because there's not much to say. But yeah, again, 
Uh, I have a tip video for, for every single hero. I'm gonna make more in-depth guides on some of them. And I wanna close out this video, of course, by saying, you know, subscribe for more and like the video, all that, that stuff. But also, I wanna discuss about what's coming to the channel because, uh, in case you didn't notice, we had 1,000 subs, which I'm very happy for. Uh, meaning, I, I do wanna make a lot more content. And I appreciate all the suggestions down below. So yeah, if you have suggestions, you can leave them down below. But the issue is that there's so many different videos I want to make. Right now, coming up, I want to do a video about the early game, mid game and late game. Because I had a lot of people struggling with the late game. And how they find direction and how they scale and manage board space. Uh, like in the latest BG review, that was the main issue there. The board space and the scaling. So I, that's the series I want to do. I want to close out this achievement series now for Battlegrounds. Because uh, I don't play any other modes. That, that's two episodes is as far as it goes so why i'm mentioning this is because on twitter i might do a lot of polls i usually post on twitter what i'm working on i also post when i go live and all and, and memes you know if you if you like memes then then twitter <laughs> that might be a way to get your voice heard like i might if there's too many suggestions on youtube or about videos that people want to see i'll just put a poll on twitter and see what the outcome is what the majority of people want to see from me okay thanks for sticking through this this rambling in the end i appreciate it uh, hope you have a good day, good luck on the battlegrounds, and I'll catch you in the next upload. Have a good day, guys.